European tech company has a lot of people talking, a lot of people tonight. Let me call it up on Apple TV right now, mirroring from my iPhone tonight. It's called Legal Fling, and it's not live just yet, but when it comes live and it becomes available, creators say you can use this app right here to request sexual consent. How does it work? And is it even legal? Seven Night Witness News reporter Ali Tui is here with some answers tonight. You already said yes, but then it could still be like a rape situation. Sexual consent isn't something these Buffalo State College freshmen take lightly. At the end of the day, it's your body, your choice. That's why Shay Brockington isn't exactly convinced an app that gives sexual consent is the way to go. I'm like indecisive at times, so I could be like, yeah, but later on be like, no, but I had already signed the consent form, so it'd be kind of awkward. According to the app's website, if two people decide to take dating a step further, one can send a request for sex to the other through an app. The request shows the person's name and their picture, and it says they're asking for consent. The person being asked then selects a heart to say yes or an X for no. Creators say it's hassle-free and privacy guaranteed. But is it legally binding? Sex as a contract is illegal in New York. No, so says 7 Eyewitness News legal expert Florina Altschiller. Consent is a dynamic, ongoing process, and it's something that can be withdrawn at absolutely any time. Further, Altschiller says it may cause someone to go too far, thinking he or she has permission to do so or it may force the consenting individual into thinking they can't change their mind or alert authorities if need be. That's why Shay Brockington says it's best to talk about the situation instead of leaving it up to an app. If you don't want to do something, you don't have to. The app is still being developed. Creators hope to launch it by the end of the month. In Buffalo, Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.